Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 11th of 2020, well, it is titled Venus and the Pleiades in April. So what do we see here? Well, earlier this month, Venus passed very close to the Pleiades, and we saw a few pictures of that earlier this month. And this is a set of images put together, uh, taken of the Pleiades and of Venus, and noting the Venus location of Venus at each day. So April 1st down towards the bottom, and then April 5th up at the top, with its closest approach to the Pleiades being April 3rd there in the middle. So we can see that Venus passed very close to these, these stars and gave a very good sight that was visible uh, with the naked eye, although this was taken with a camera and a telephoto lens, so it would be similar to the view you would have gotten in a pair of binoculars. So you can see there the stars of the Pleiades, uh, a lot of blue stars. It's a relatively young cluster. The blue stars don't live a very long time, maybe tens or hundreds of millions of years, meaning that they had to have formed relatively recently. Because if something only lives, say, a hundred million years, then it had to have formed within the last hundred million years, because after much more than a hundred million years, it would be gone. So these stars have to be relatively young, and while 100 million years might seem very old to us, uh, that is very young in terms of ages of stars and ages of the galaxy when we start talking about many billions of years. For example, our sun being four and a half billion years old. Now this uh, kind of conjunction where the a planet will pass through these uh, for Venus happens relatively often. So Venus will pass through the Pleiades about every eight years. So if you missed this one or didn't have a clear skies to be able to view it, you will have a chance again in April of 2028. You will have another chance to see Venus pass very close to the Pleiades star cluster. And it will do that about every eight years because of the orbits of the Earth and Venus. So that when eight years pass on the Earth, 13 years have passed on Venus, bringing everything just about back into the same alignment. So we can expect to see this site again in about eight more years. And we will get to see Venus once again pass very close to the Pleiades star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for April the 11th of 2020. It was titled Venus and the Pleiades in April. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a horse of a different color. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.